Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going after a doe with a bow and arrow. Uh, if we get one, I'll show you guys a little bit of the cleaning. Also, I'll show you guys how we make some beer burritos, or at least how I make them. Uh, we love them here at the camp. We eat them all the time. Let's go home. Like our swamps and alligators. Love our coffees too. I mean, that happened quick. I just gotta do it. I think I made a good shot. She piled up over there. Yeah. We'll give her a little bit of time. We'll go down and get her. And the reason I'm whispering, let me talk a little bit louder. Uh, there may be some other hunters around. There might be big deer walking around. I don't want to spook the deer if I don't have to. Uh, but let's go get that doe. Big old scrape right here. They probably got some good bucks in this area, but I was just nothing for a doe.
All right, guys, she didn't go 75 yards. Got a good old nice doe. She left us a good blood trail. This doe came in first light. I mean, I didn't have time to hardly get set up. She came right in. Uh, I'd like to thank Dustin Dawes. He's the one that had this area. Been seeing a lot of does. He's like, you need to go down there, take one of those does out. So, you know me, I'm a doe hunter. I'll shoot a big buck just like everybody else, but I like the meat. So thanks, Dustin. I appreciate you putting me in this area. That rage put a number on her. I'm stoked up. We're gonna make some good vittles with her. I'll show a little bit of the cleaning. Uh, I'm not sure we may do burritos with her. We may make some deer sausage, uh, but I'll show you guys whatever we do. Y'all gonna be there with me. Appreciate y'all being here, guys. I would like to thank all the subscribers, all the people commenting on the videos. Man, it means a lot to me. Uh, I got people supporting me on my merch, my seasoning. Thank you guys so much. All right, we'll go ahead and get her tagged before we move her. And we got we got to drag her up a hill. Uh, we probably got a few hundred yards to get back to the truck. I mean, it's not that bad, so I'm happy to do it. All right. We got her tagged. She's legal to move. right there tenderloins melt in your mouth I like to put these in Ziploc bags some people throw it in the ice chest I don't want them waterlogged and also the back straps I like to put in the bags back straps tenderloins the rest I'll put straight in the ice chest on ice Red seasoning on that. Do some good stuff. All right, here's the Okay. 
Place it all down, get it cold. Okay, I didn't show it, but I did keep the heart, the ribs, and also the neck. I like to also move the meat around. That way you don't have any hot spots. Dude, we got a nice one this morning. Congrats, Ron. Beautiful bug. How much you weigh? 210 pounds. 210 pounds. Look how chocolate horn this deer is. Beautiful. Congrats, man. Appreciate it. Not a good one. First deer. Congrats, man. That's a good one for your first deer. Lord. All right, let's make some burritos. I have 30 pounds of deboned deer meat. We're gonna use roughly one eight ounce can in this 30 pounds of meat. You may wanna season yours more or less. Uh, it's all per taste. cooking oil to the pot. This is olive oil. Sometimes I use canola just so the meat don't stick too bad. We'll start browning this up. Okay, we got two pots working. Turn the heat up to get the meat brown real quick. Okay, we got the ground meat, the deer meat browning pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and add our onions and peppers to this. I'll split it up amongst the two pots. Okay, the onions are getting clear. I like to brown the meat just a little bit more. Okay, like so many other times, it got dark on me. Uh, I have a full-time job. I can't do this till after work. Probably took us two hours to get to this point. The onions are clear. Okay, as you can see, you cannot see the onions anymore. Got it cooked down. Add a little bit more water, give it a little bit of moisture. We're about to add the cheese. We're gonna add some cheese and the taco seasoning. We added two bags of the taco seasoning per pot. So that's two bags per 15 pounds of meat approximately. Let's add a little bit more water in each pot. That seasoning mixed in there real good. Okay, on the cheese, I'm just gonna keep adding until I get the consistency I want. I want it pretty creamy, so I'll keep adding until I get it just right. Uh, we'll start off with a couple big handfuls in each pot.
Okay, we ended up putting probably one bag in each pot, which is three pounds of cheese per 15 pounds of meat. creamy that is yeah I decided I'm gonna add some diced jalapenos to one of these batches a little bit of the juice too work that in This is the one with the jalapenos. Ooh, that kicked it up a notch. I might put jalapenos in both. That's really good. Okay, after you let the meat cool down, you're ready to put it on the flour tortillas. So we got a bunch more to make. Yeah, I didn't show this part, but also stuff some peppers. Got some peppers out of the garden. We'll put that on that shelf right there. Got a few peppers. All right. Here's another deer I need to make sausage with right here. It's all deboned and vacuum sealed. All right, just to show how convenient and easy this is, here's a pack I just took out the freezer, frozen. Uh, you just throw it in the sink with a little bit of water. I use cold water. Uh, we'll time it. It'll be probably five minutes. It'll be defrosted, and we'll stick it in the microwave. Check this out. Okay, it's been five minutes. Look at that. So completely defrosted in five minutes. I'm gonna cut it out the pack and we'll put it in the microwave. Okay, we're gonna go three minutes in the microwave. Let's go ahead and try this out. This way the tortilla is doughy. If you want it crunchy, you can do it in a nonstick skillet and get it crunchy. It's good like that. Or you could put it in the oven, it'll get crunchy. I like to use that on a black stone or just one of the stones you put in the oven. But this is a total of five minutes to defrost, three minutes cook, so eight minutes and you're eating. Let's try it out. Hmm. Mm. 
so easy and so good. When you want a quick meal, it's hard to beat it. Uh, when the wife doesn't cook and I don't cook, uh, Penny's out of town this weekend. She went to see our daughter. So I'm feeling for myself and it's a quick, easy meal. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, it's all.